everybody, this is Joy with JoysLife.com and today I want to show you the new layers feature on the most recent update of the Gypsy application. It's a really great way to add a lot of different um, layers to your cards without having everything on the same mat. Here's the first layer of the card that I'm working on and I want to show you something really neat where you can rename the different layers that you have so you'll know what you're working on. This one I've named the card layer and all you have to do is hold your stylus down on whatever layer you're working on for just a few seconds and then um, you'll see that it comes up with the rename or delete function. So all you have to do, like in the, in the case of this one, let me do that again, is hit rename and then you'll have an opportunity to name it something new. I think that layer was mostly fruit so we'll name it fruit. Oh, let me spell it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to name that one fruit and then hit OK. Alright, and then you can see here at the top that it's now renamed fruit. So I have my first layer being called card and you'll see there's the little card that I've worked on and then this second layer is called fruit. Can you tell how it looks a little complicated and there's all that gray in the background of the layer I'm not working on. If you don't want to see that, click the eye and that's the card layer and it'll just shut it off. It closes the eye so it closes the view of the part you're not working on. And uh, it's the same way with the third layer. I have a layer 3 here and I have the eye closed on it. So if we click the eye open you'll now see some things in the background. We can't work on those right now because we're not on that layer. The layer that you're working on is always highlighted. So if we want to go work on that, we'll just click layer 3 and now here we are. Uh, remember if you want to zoom in, you can click the top left hand button and then click down on the item you want to zoom in on. Now those are the buttons that are um, silver in color on the left hand side of your gypsy. And if you want to zoom back out, you can just click the top left hand button again and you'll zoom back out. The amount of layers that you can add to your project seem almost infinite. Last night I worked on adding layers and I was able to add more than a hundred. I don't know about you, but I'm not really going to be working on a project that needs more than a hundred layers. So I think we're pretty well set when it comes to adding them. And you know, all you have to do to add a layer is to click the little plus sign on the left hand corner and that will add your layers. Now if you're wondering what the arrow signs do at the top of your screen, they help you go through all the layers that you have. If you have more than will fit on a screen, you can just use the arrows to help you click through. And then if you want to go back, you just click on the arrow going in the opposite direction. And you can see the layers are changing as we go through them. You can choose any layer to work on that you'd like just by clicking on that layer. There we are on layer 6 now. If you want to delete a layer, you can do that too. Hold your stylus down over the layer until the rename or delete buttons come up. We click delete on layer 6 and now you can see that there's layer 5 and layer 7 but there is no layer 6 any longer. Now here's my project on the first page again with all the eyes open on each of the layers. So you can see here's my card on the top layer. It's in red and then on the bottom on the next layer, the fruit layer, there's the fruit. Of course we can't work with it because we're not on that layer. If you can see layer 3 back here, whoops, move my card. The card you can still move because we're on that layer. But layer 3, um, it says 5 o'clock somewhere. This is a fun little card I'm working on, so it's a, it's a drink related card that I thought a friend would appreciate and think was funny. But you can also see layer 3 back here. Let me move my card back where I need it. Very simple. Okay, now I'm going to show you another one of the great features of the new Gypsy update, which is the ability to hide contours of different items that you've selected. Um, this is a fantastic way to only cut a few of the things that are shown in the typical cutout. For example, I have all this fruit here and I don't want to cut it all. I don't want to use the olive 
that's in it. So what I'm going to do is click this particular picture and you do have to have that item clicked in order to use the hide contour. And this is the button for the hide contour right here. So we're going to click that and now you see the images are all larger. So what I'm going to do is you can either click on the item that you want to try and hide and in this case it's highlighted in red um, and then I'll just click hide. Okay, and that's hidden and it's a slightly lighter red now than it was before. The last thing that you click I've noticed is is red and it stays red but it just gets a little bit lighter uh, because earlier it was really confusing to me while I was trying to film this and it stayed red and it looked like it never did change but it is changing. It, it's slightly lighter. So then I want to do the inside of the olive. So I'll click that and I'll click hide. Now it'll be hidden as well. We can go back to the um, main picture and you'll see, let me zoom in, you can see that that item is now grayed out. That part's not going to cut. Okay, it's still there. It's not permanently gone, but it will not cut out. So now I don't have to have the olive and waste a piece of paper or something that I don't need. Let's go back and take a look at that again. I want to show you another way to go through the items. Let's say we want to get rid of the inside part of the umbrella. We can also just click previous or next to see what else can be hidden using the hide contour. Um, for instance, now we're in the umbrella and the little line is, is red showing me that I can hide that. So if I click hide, it'll be hidden. And then I can click next to see what next thing I might be able to hide. I hit previous. Let's hit next. There we go. And I'll hit hide on that. And then next I'll hit hide. And then that should be hidden. Yep. Oops, I missed that first one. So see, in the case uh, that you miss something, you can go back and highlight it yourself by using your stylus. So I'll just click that, I'll click hide. Now the inside of my umbrella won't have any of those little lines in it. Let's click off that. You see how it's grayed out? Okay, so let's click OK and go back. You can zoom in. And you see those um, umbrella lines are grayed out, so they won't cut. So that is how you use the hide contours function. It's a really, really cool function. So you can just cut parts of things instead of having to cut the whole thing. Um, didn't mean to do that, but I'll show you anyway. The current project I'm working on is using the Life is a Beach cartridge. And I chose that because one of my Facebook friends, Samantha, asked me to make a card using the Life is a Beach cartridge. So that's what I'm working on. And that's the card that you saw back there. Let me zip back to that again. Okay, we'll just click on card. Oops. Let me make it smaller. And there we are. So Samantha will end up getting to see this neat card when it's all finished. And I will continue to work on that and post this card underneath this video as soon as I'm done. Well, I hope that this was helpful to you and you understand a little bit more about how the different layer functions work and how the hide contour functions work on the new Gypsy application update. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you again soon at JoyceLife.com. Bye!